Karens are known for their public freakouts, and boy, do they deliver. They can be seen going off on anyone, from store clerks to restaurant staff, and even complete strangers. From screaming at the top of their lungs to pointing their fingers aggressively, these Karens know just how to make an entrance. So the next time you encounter a Karen in public, think twice before you startle her. She might just have something up her sleeve. Kicking things off, we've got a multi-Karen cluster where everyone's wrong and nobody's happy. The drama was off the charts as these Western New Yorkers were ready to throw down on June 23rd of 2020. Buffalo's finest had to step in after receiving two calls. The first one? A New York State judge named Mark John Grisandi whining about his neighbor's cars hogging his driveway. Here's his whiny call to the police dispatcher. An idiot neighbor across the street where they have four cars on my side parking and two of them are blocking my driveway. Nobody likes his neighbor across the street, so he parks his cars on top of everybody's driveway, mm -hmm. and that's what's happening right now. I don't care if you guys come now or 12 o'clock, but if the car's still there, I want a ticket on it or I want a tow it because it's blocking part of the driveway. The sequel ring a ding to the police came from a mystery neighbor who witnessed Mark, his missus, and their next door nemesis duking it out in the street. Their epic feud had finally gone full WWE SmackDown, which had the cops rolling up just moments after that second call. Okay? Tag me, rip my friggin', rip my friggin' chain off. Yeah, you got it all on camera. All right, step. The car owner likely covets the cool shade from his neighbor's tree, even though the street is public property to start with. Meanwhile, shirtless Randy from Trailer Park Boys and his wife decided to play vigilante, prompting the local cops to step in and calm things down. Get, Wait, my get son the here uh, for video from the phone or from the camera. They friggin' three of them pushed up. So I cross the street, rip my shirt off, friggin' rip my friggin'. She's good. She's good. She's good. Ma'am. Hey! Not doing this. No, 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 no. Dude! Keep your hands off. You better go up. Wife. Dude! She's going to cuffs. She's going to cuffs. Do not Listen, fight my daughter and my son are both Buffalo police officers. I know, I know. And you I'm calling right now. Dude! Would not want them putting put your hands. Somebody put in their hands. Dude! You are not going to fight a cop. Hey! You arrest my fing wife. You're going to be sorry. My son and my daughter are both police officers. Listen! That doesn't mean I'm not going to listen. You need to get the, if you don't get the cops over right now, you're going to have a problem. We're not doing that. We're not threatening that. You need to get the cops off her. She's going to send them back in the car right now. That's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do for you right now. You need to get the cops off her. We're, we're, we're not going to do that by your demand. She's going to send it back in the car. She's going to be in cuffs, and that's what's going to happen for right now. Let us work, let, let us just work this through. No, Could, let, watch. Genuinely. I'm going to need to call my son and daughter and their lieutenants right now. Genuinely, yeah. Call who you need yeah, to call. I'm going to be called right now. I have no problem with that. It turns out the ultimate Karen of this saga has been unmasked, and surprise, he's shirtless. And yes, his wife's a Karen too, and yes, she's probably day drunk as her neighbor accused her of being. Now, if you compare Randy Bo Bandy's antics to those of his neighbors, you'll totally get why the police are focusing on them. But hey, sometimes chaos is the first step towards improvement. Yeah, I'm talking to my daughter's police officer. Okay. 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 They actually am I don't know. Dave Cole. You have three police officers you want to hear. Start the story. Hi, Luciano. 
I don't know. You got you, you got officers Mullahan. I don't know who these guys are, but where he is in the back of the car. Where does your daughter work for? She's in B District. My son's in C District. This dude's pulling a total Ken move, dragging his kids into this cringeworthy mess like it's gonna save him. Now he's name dropping and spewing more nonsense, making everything even more of a circus. And listen, I'm good friends with Byron Brown. He's like, you always Mark, just friggin' ignore him. I did ignore him. I called and said the truck is friggin' barked, blocking half the driveway. And then when we come back, that's how it is. Mm. I'm talking like this, he's friggin' punch me in the face, and I'm getting a fat lip. So, but I wouldn't have my friggin' shirt ripped like this. He friggin' tore this shirt, grabbing me, and friggin' ripped my necklace off. Okay, like, like, yeah, like I'm, I'm fighting the guy. Okay. I mean, I walked over to grab Maria. He goes, oh, you want to go tough guy? I'm like, no, Joe, I'm taking it away. Boom. And push. Things start heating up once more when shirtless Randy decides to pick a fight with the cop. Now, let's remember, the officer's job isn't to play Simon Says with this guy, who seems to think he's running the show. Nope. The police are there to cool things down and ideally bring some chill vibes back to the block. Get around in the car and I'll bring her inside. And I didn't mean to tackle you, but I mean, you kind of threw my wife down on the ground pretty hard and I don't appreciate that. I understand that. All right? I really don't. If, that, if I would do that to your wife and you're outside, you'd do the same thing. Sure, well, if you were a police officer okay. and she was screaming no, in my, my face. No, my daughter's a police officer and I know what you guys are going through right now. And trust me, my daughter's a police officer, my son-in-law's a police officer, my brother, my, okay. my, and my son's a Okay, and if someone screaming at your daughter and approaching her like that, she would have done the same thing. No, you grabbed my wife from over there and dragged her over here, which was not necessary. Okay. So you need to chill out about that. I'm just, well, I'm I just have giving, a camera, so that, I'm it's, it's all documented. I don't care about your camera. Just to give you a little constructive criticism, dude. Okay. Okay? Let me give you some constructive criticism. The entitlement of this stupid male Karen doesn't seem to have any limits. But fortunately, the cops seize the moment to inform this shirtless name-dropping street fighting fool that they're now the official referees of right and wrong in this bout. Drop another copper's name? You wanna scream about you know Kamal, you're the mayor? How about you shut the f up? Sorry, and you keep that quiet. Shut the uh, f up. Push your hands by your back. Push your hands by your back. Okay. You wanna be difficult? You wanna you wanna say all these coppers and all these things? No, I just wanna make this look dirty. Is that what you wanna do? I so how am I helping you now? How tell me? Tell me how can I help you? How shut the, shut up and let me talk to you, you old geezer. Shut up. Shut up and let me talk to you. Since you had so much to say and you touch a cop. So let me talk to you. God! Let me talk to you. God! Quiet! Quiet! No! You're not done talking! I bet the cop just said what we were all thinking, Mark Grisanti, a supposed New York judicial hotshot, is trying to make law enforcement look like a joke across the whole state, but these officers aren't going for that. They're saying that you pushed an officer, you, didn't, you wouldn't do that, would you? You know what, when he, when he was, when he dragged, well, he dragged Maria, when the two girls were on Maria, he was dragging Maria across the street and actually was taking her down on my front lawn. And I basically said, listen, just, like, talk to her, and I pushed him, and I said, don't friggin' tackle her, and I pushed him. I apologized to him, Mark, right after that, because I said, listen, I respect you guys in law enforcement, you know, you know, I go, my daughter's a police officer, my son-in-law's a police officer, all my family's police officers. I never mentioned Byron Brown's name. What we said was, is that the guy across the street parks the vehicle, which is a Byron Brown-owned vehicle, like, like he blocks driveways and they did it with all four cars tonight. So yes, I was wrong. The good news for this jerky male Karen is that although he committed a battery against a law enforcement officer, which is a felony, no charges were filed against him or his wife. However, in April of 2024, which was nearly four years after the incident that we just watched, the State Commission on Judicial Conduct recommended in a six to four vote that Mark Grisanti be censured which is bad news for him, and it gets worse. As a result of his deplorable behavior, former acting justice of the state Supreme Court, Mark Grisanti, was not reappointed to a second term by New York Governor Kathy Hochul. I really hope he sees this, so that he fully understands that he qualifies as Randy's stunt double on the Trailer Park Boys. He's looking for a new job, right? Meet our latest Karen, a feisty 74-year-old who dialed 911 and ended up with quite the surprise. 
On September 11th of 2022, this real rancho local called the cops to tattle on her neighbor for giving her an unsolicited garden hose shower. Here's what happened when the cops showed up. So hold on, come talk to me real quick. It's not real quick. You have to come inside. So what's going on today? Well, come in and I'll talk to you. What's wrong with talking out here? I want to talk inside. What do you think there, I am, a criminal? Is there anyone inside the house? No, there's nobody in there. Jeez, put the hose on if you want to see the hose. And I have a restraining order from the judge. This. Would you come in, please? So what's going on today? What's going on? Put the hose on me. So I'll start from the beginning. What I happened? I went back on the side to check my air conditioning. I was looking back on my property. I didn't say a word. Then it goes like this and he puts the hose on me. I didn't say anything to you. So he just sprayed you with the hose? Twice. Did he say anything to you? He just started spraying for no reason. They didn't come over and say, how you doing? What happened? They don't care about it. They're they animals. No, they're animals. Except for one is not so bad. No, there are animals there. There are animals. Any issues with any of the other neighbors? No, not at all. This Karen is about as pleasant as a cactus salad. On top of that, she's making a lot of claims without backing them up with any evidence. As a result, the officers asked Karen to take him to the horrid crime scene so that he can run forensics and lock up the criminal for a life sentence. Okay, I'm getting carried away, but here's what happened next. And what time did this happen? It just happened like about 15 minutes ago. 15 minutes ago? Well, can I take it to court or is it not permissible? So let's see where they sprayed you yeah. first. Yeah. Oh, they're going to say all kinds of things. We know that. We know that. They're going to okay. say all kinds of things. Why don't you listen to me? Listen. We are. That's why I'm asking you to show me where right. they sprayed you to see if there's I any. I to look in the back. This is the old battle of my pussies and I was saying, and if you where are you looking at, you guys? I didn't say anything. Okay. So you were right here? Yeah, here. And then he took the hose and sprayed it on me. Twice. This way? For me, I was all wet. The fact that Karen's clothes are dry means something just doesn't make sense. Regardless, this officer is trying his best to determine what happened. However, I wouldn't be surprised if the house next door was vacant and Karen had just called 911 so she could have a friend over. That would probably explain why she insisted that the officer come inside the house. Did you change your clothes after you got sprayed or what happened? What? Did you change I'm sick your clothes? Now. No, no, did you change your clothes after you got sprayed with water? No. No? Why? So, uh, why? You want to say? What? No, no, what, what area did they spray you The whole on? thing, and then he did it again the second time. And you said it was about 15 minutes ago? Yeah, about 15. I can't help it. But what do you think of that? What do you think of that? So, the only thing I'm noticing is your clothes looks uh, see, dry, and I didn't see any water on the floor by your air conditioner. I'm telling you, he did it. So, I'm not saying that it didn't happen. Come on in. You can't touch anybody. You can't do it. You can't defend yourself. You can't do it. When the officer realized Karen's tail was fishier than a seafood market, he informed her that he'd have to dig deeper. Her reaction? Exactly what you'd expect from someone caught in a web of their own tall tales. Once I get both sides of the story, I'll come back and talk to you and let you know what we're going to do, okay? Well, twice with the water. Okay. I could have turned it to but I, I heard your story two times. They sprayed you with the water when you were checking your air conditioning on your property, okay? Right. Well, so it's I'm gonna go, the So I'm going to go, go talk to them because it looks like they have cameras, okay? So let me go see what's going on. Cameras. Let me go see what's going on and I'll come back and speak hey, to you, you okay? With the video. Okay, so hang out here for me and I'll be right back, okay? The officer brought up the video cameras and Karen's expression was absolutely priceless. Honestly, now that I know the house next door isn't vacant, I'm really beginning to pity her neighbors. The fact that they've got cameras aimed directly at her place says a lot about how much Karening they have to put up with from this woman. Um, what's going on today? Not well, much, just hanging out, having a nice day out in the backyard. And okay. The neighbor was like standing there just staring and the dogs were barking. So we asked mm -hmm. like, can we help you? And she was just, and she stood there leaning on the fence and she was like Leaning this over our fence mm -hmm. i said i'm sorry ma'am can i help you and she goes i'm not talking to you you f and 
points at her. Mm -hmm. And we got the little kid out there, and yeah. the other kids like drawing with chalk on the back porch, and we're like, dude, okay. no. And she just started cursing and yelling. Uh, she had did that to us previously, and mm -hmm. she told me she's like, let's just go inside. And I was like, but dude, she just came up and started talking trash. Yeah. Like, it's not worth it. Over it's our not. Yeah. It's, my kids. it's like, not yes. worth it. So we went inside. So this time she started swearing and calling her a bunch of foul names in mm -hmm. front of the kids. And I was like, dude, no, absolutely not. You're leaning over our fence. We're trying to be like, 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 can we help you? In this case, the stories are clashing like cats and dogs. The only way to sort it out is with solid evidence. Thankfully, Karen had already spilled the beans to the cops about where to dig it up. Meanwhile, the real victims were eager beavers, ready to help out. I have a video of the next interaction I had with her, mm -hmm. and she comes out and she's like, oh, dude, you trash, you spotted dog. Just swearing at you guys. Yeah, she just attacks She's it. just, you're okay. just f trash. You, you're a f c and she's a whore. So I have a video. You have video? It. Can we yeah. see that? If I you have don't a video, too, where she's saying, I am threatening you. And this was from today? Yes. Yeah, from like okay. 20 minutes ago. Like a naughty child sensing inevitable doom, Karen tiptoed around the corner, eavesdropping on the conversation. Given her notorious attitude, it was pretty clear she was cooking up some new drama. Go back inside your house. Okay, go, go back on. inside your house. Go inside your house. So I'm out here. I already knew because she started opening her door and yelling on the phone in her little entryway. Okay. So I'm in the, I'm here just working, like I said, putting my car seat into the Jeep. And like and I is said, your video I, also from today? Yes. Okay. And the reason, the reason we're here today is she claimed that your husband sprayed her. Is that your husband? It's my boyfriend. Boyfriend. She claimed that he sprayed her with water while she was looking at her hair, but there's no water on the ground. Yeah, She's no. not wet. No. So her story's not adding up. She's just something But else. if she's ever harassing you, mm -hmm. call us immediately. Okay. That way we can start doing something. Right from the start, it was a no-brainer to sympathize with the couple. They had plenty of justification to dial 911 themselves, yet they chose to stay out of it. Enter our Karen, who's about to experience the hilarious irony of accidentally calling the cops on herself. You're gonna receive some paper in the mail, okay? Yes. You're gonna have to go to court. Yeah, we're gonna go to court, them. right? Yes. All right. Yeah. So, I will. You'll be going to court, okay? So make now sure it's against tell the judge. Yeah, they're the defendants, right? So when before. is it going to stop with them? Until somebody gets hurt? I don't know, but I recommend don't go out there and yell profanities and scream in front of little children, okay? Because that's not proper conduct. Who's going to be the defendant? You're going to be the defendant. Yeah, okay. I'm the defendant? Why? Because you're out there screaming profanities. Because remember we talked about videos, two people versus one, we watch No, forget about it, then go. Go. Okay. Don't okay. set don't write right. up anything. You're going to go to court, okay? So don't, don't miss court, because if you miss court, you'll get a warrant. Karen schemed to land her neighbors in hot water with a bogus tail blew up in her face so spectacularly that she got slapped with a court summons. At her hearing, Karen found herself facing charges of disorderly conduct. Talk about an epic backfire. On April 25th of 2023, a guy dialed 911 to report his neighbor, who is an extremely stupid Karen. Apparently, this dumb Karen has a track record of being a racist jerk and was caught red-handed spray-painting creepy symbols on his car. When the cops showed up, they found her nearby, looking like she just rolled out of bed after a wild night of conspiracy theories. What's going on? What's going on today? What? What's going on today? What do you mean? Is something happening or we, we uh, got caught out here? You want traffic or do it in my hand? Who? Human traffickers, nasty human trafficker in my house. Do in in my your head. house? Yes, look at what they did. Somebody did that to you? Yes. You think I would do that to my hair? I don't think so. So if somebody is making noise and you don't go next door, I'm telling you that he's doing my hair. He's doing my hair. He's getting in my house to rip me and doing my hair. Okay, so can you just calm down? What's no, I'm not going to calm What's down. What's in your pocket right there? What is in my pocket? The right blue here? thing. Don't touch it. What is that? What is this? I was doing my f***ing house. Lego? What, is that a knife? That's don't, not a knife. Don't, don't grab it. That's don't not a knife. Huh? That's Step not over a... here and talk to me. Why That's are you? Not a... I'm not gonna f*** you. Is that what you're thinking? 
I didn't say I think you're out, but I don't want you to have a knife. It looked like a knife. That's why I was asking. Okay, so what's going on tonight? Why, why are we- Look at my hair! That just happened? They keep getting in my house doing the hair! They just got in your house I keep calling you and you don't do nothing! This Karen claims that some mystery person broke into her house and did unspeakable things to her. To top it off, she's now worried about the racist doodles someone etched on her newly bald head. They broke the windows. Mm -hmm. When did that happen? What? The, uh, that they broke the windows. A long time ago when I called you. I call, you know how many times I call you and... You Don't say me. No, no. I'm saying you guys. Okay. You're good guys. When did that happen? What? Today. Not today. All week long. They... they they did first this side mm -hmm. on the side, and they did this front yesterday. Then they did this. Is your is your husband here? No. You have a husband, right? No, he was. Didn't. Karen's tale and the neighbor's allegations are like mismatched socks, but the officer's questions are poking holes in her plot. Her reasoning is as clear as mud, and to top it off, the neighbor's multiple reports are turning this into a game of telephone gone wrong. Why did we get reports saying that you're screaming and hollering out here? People what? were worried about you. They were worried Multiple about neighbors me. called and said they heard some a lady I screaming was crying. outside. I was crying. Because about what? somebody that keep getting in my house and uh, I need to, I have a problem with my rectum and I keep bleeding through the rectum. Mm -hmm. So it was hurting a lot. Okay. What did you use that paint for today? Why don't you tell me what it was you came for? Hmm? What do you tell me what you think? I'm asking you. The pain I use it for the house. Because I got up, mm -hmm. I cannot go to sleep, and I like to pain in the house. I do that all the time. From my vantage point, I'm observing a woman who seems quite out of sorts. She's spinning tales about her body that might just back up the whole someone broke into my house and attack me saga. But here's the kicker. She flat out refuses to jot down any of this in a statement no matter how many times she's asked. But things take a nosedive when the backup officer steps in, determined to put a lid on her shenanigans. Why won't you write a statement for me? Because I tried to do it last time and you were acting, treating me like I was lying. Hey, do you have any weapons on you? All right, can you come here? Hey, hey! Oh, my... Get out of the car! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Oh, Put your hands behind your back! Stop. You can breathe. You can breathe. Do not scratch me. The cops are doing their best to treat this Karen like fragile glass, but it's obvious something really messed up happened to her at some point in the past. Unfortunately, figuring out what went down is going to be a real head-scratcher, especially since she's acting crazier by the minute as they attempt to load her into the van. I don't want to live anymore. Well, you just wanted to live a second ago when you were spraying stuff on people's cars. No, because I was going to jump on the f***ing thing. I don't want to live anymore. Tell me, please. Nobody's going to do that. Please. Oh, I do this anyway. What are you doing? I'm gonna kill off me with this. No. I'm Thanks. gonna kill me oh, with this. Well. I'm gonna kill me with this. I'm gonna kill me. I don't wanna live like this. Oh, I'm gonna live like this. I'm gonna kill you with 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 this. I'm gonna kill you I thought maybe you would admit to it. I don't know. <laughs> I, took, I mean, transport air conditioning one, systems. Like, so how many people you get locked in there? <laughs> She's been screaming that for months, and I've been She, was, she was screaming that the last time we were over here. Yep. My mom. She was yelling. She was telling us her husband was human trafficking. Her. That's what my dog was barking. That's the sound that woke me up when my dog was barking, and I came outside. Came, I came outside. I came to the window. Right is that curtilage? Here. Did she hit that camera or something? Yes, with the camera? she did. Yeah, that point, so that wasn't tilted that yes, way? I have her video hitting it. Like well, her face and everything is in it.
The neighbor's video gave the cops all the ammo that they needed to slap the cuffs on Karen. Now that we've got the full scoop, it's tough to muster any sympathy for her, though it's clear she needs some serious help. The officers, bless their hearts, felt sorry for her and made sure the EMTs checked her out in the van. She eventually calmed down and was genuinely sorry for what she'd done. But hey, $7,000 worth of damage doesn't just disappear with an apology. So she earned herself a nice pair of charges, criminal mischief and resisting arrest without going full Hulk mode. In the wee hours of April 12th of 2021, the police made a late-night house call after getting a tip-off about some rogue street art. The homeowners claimed their neighbor had gone all Banksy on them and tagged their place. Upon arrival, the officer couldn't miss the masterpiece left behind by none other than Karen, the neighborhood Picasso. I think it's supposed to say white trash, and then I don't know what the bottom... Because she kept calling him white trash. She got all over my phone, Have you had to get a, uh, a new a paint job on this BMW? No. No? Yeah, paint jobs are usually in the several thousands. Well, we aren't going to have to pay for that, right? It's going to go gonna insurance, go. Yeah. I mean, but... Well, can't we charge her and make her pay? Well, that's, that's... We'll have to go through the court. The evidence against Karen is as undeniable as the sun's presence in the sky. Therefore, it's a foregone conclusion that she'll be coughing up the dough to cover the damage she inflicted. But the real entertainment begins when the boys in blue crash the party at Joe's, where our little fugitive has been seeking refuge. Get ready to witness the glorious meltdown of an incredibly stupid Karen, encountering the cold hand of justice. Talk to you in just a moment, sir. Yeah, we'll, we'll okay. You having trouble walking, ma'am? Yeah, she's a little bit. Yeah, I drank. Okay. She, yeah, she's a little bit. Yeah, out there. I drank. Okay, I got her. Okay. I got her from here. All right. We'll help yeah. you out, okay? Don't, don't I, push me, ma'am. Okay. Hi I would Let's love. Step okay. Jean. Just follow Let's step him. outside. No, I, I yeah. will. Ma'am, we're them. the police and you are being them. recorded on our cameras, okay? Just so you know. You oh, I love it. Us, okay? I love it. I suppose there's something more terrifying than a tipsy Karen, a tipsy Karen who falls off the wagon. Thankfully, this Karen owns up to her antics and responds with sincere honesty. So, so let me ask you, what, what happened tonight? Start from the beginning. So I you am, were and I am so tired. Okay. He always has and I and I'm a realtor. Okay. And yeah, I'm like slurring my words. Yeah, I do this. Yeah, I have. Yeah. But you know what? So you don't like all the trash in front of the house, or what? I don't. So you? Okay. I so, don't. Okay. So there's there's a lot of red paint over there, and why don't you tell me what what you told me just a little bit ago? How'd that get there? Oh, he's had that there for months. Oh, no, I'm talking about the red paint. That's oh, I red. I just did that. You yeah. did that? Yeah, you did no, that I love it. I love it. I will, I will go to jail. He ruins all our lives. So, it seems this realtor believes her neighbor's habit of leaving trash on the driveway is ruining her life and making it hard to sell homes. Whether that's actually the case is up for debate, but let's be real, nobody's lining up to buy a house next to a realtor who moonlights as a drunk spray painting vandal. So right now, you know, with all the statements that, you know, you've made and, and everything going on, you are under arrest right now for, for a felony level criminal damage to property, okay? I love it! So, so I damaged so his property. So, that's, that's How what do you, you said. That's okay, wait, said. wait. How do you know I 
damage his property. Well, you just there's told multiple us. things. First of all, you just told us. Secondly, there was a spray uh, paint can in the house that we found you in. And third of all, you also have paint all over your hands. So that's <laughs> that's what we have. And I love it. Yeah, I so. love it. <clears throat> Did, she didn't have anything on her, right? Nothing at all? Okay, cool. No, so, I don't think that. You don't have can I... Can I, uh... Can I talk to you? Jane. No, no, you gotta keep you gotta keep your feet inside the car, okay? You're not allowed to get out of the car uh, at this point. Uh, sorry. Yeah, that's alright. I know. Like you look at all these things and all these, and they're like bad people and they're black, and they like, oh my god. Well, there you have it. Karen's true colors are shining through with her racist antics. Meanwhile, as you saw, my floating head guy wasn't exactly thrilled, for obvious reasons, but mostly because she was making zero sense. Oddly enough, this dumb Karen is in high spirits about the whole ordeal. But I suspect her mood will take a nosedive once she sobers up, and the court sides with the victims. Anyway, the officer then whisks this stupid Karen off to jail, and thankfully, she doesn't make much of a fuss. I am a bad person, everybody. Sorry to hear that. I am. I'm horrible. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna take a seat on this bench over here, okay? Let's go this way. Take a I seat love right it. Here, okay? Right here. Right here. I love it. Oh, uh, That's great. I'm, I'm uh, a red handed. <laughs> it's, it's no laughing matter for the victims but at least her situation is crystal clear. It seems this whole fiasco kicked off over some HOA dues. Still, that's no excuse to go all Banksy on a neighbor's house. The officer mentioned she'll probably get slapped with a felony charge for property damage because, as you heard, they caught her red-handed. I love that one. Back on June 12th of 2023, Love and Hip Hop star Jocelyn Hernandez went into full-on Karen mode as she tangled with fellow reality star Big Lex at the Floyd Mayweather vs. John Gotti the third fight. Apparently, Floyd and John weren't the only ones throwing punches that night. Hernandez had Big Lex in a headlock until a security guard stepped in to break it up. Not one to be deterred, she slapped the guard and attempted to continue her brawl. She even managed to whack another woman on the back of the head before someone threw their drink at her. In a video from that wild evening in Sunrise, Florida, you can see Jocelyn punching and hurling slurs at officers as they arrested her, which is to be expected from a dumb Karen. The so-called Puerto Rican princess sure didn't behave very royally on this night. Throwing royal etiquette out of the window, this dumb Karen hurled her phone at the cops and shoved one of them, all while screaming slurs. And why? Because the dumb Karen didn't want an officer laying a hand on her. You'd think getting tackled would cool her jets, but nope. 
Karen kept the drama going, earning herself a spot on her list of unforgettable moments. Yeah, I want to you f***ing man. I got f***ing it. You f***ing it. You f***ing it. Relax, You f***ing it. I got it. You f***ing it. You f***ing it. You f***ing it. You f***ing it. If you can't, you all going to Nobody wants to hurt you. If you can't, nobody wants to hurt you. I'm not a going down first. I'm not a going down first. Quack. All my mother After a barrage of slurs and swears, the officers of Sunrise PD finally managed to get Karen into the back seat of the cop car. It wasn't easy, they had to haul her down the hallway by her legs like a stubborn suitcase. Once they reached the parking structure, Karen kept screaming that they'd all be jobless by morning. Not surprisingly, the officers seemed completely unbothered by her hollow threats. The problem for Jocelyn Hernandez, aka Karen, is that you don't get to Karen out in public without getting people's attention. Yeah, Jocelyn Hernandez made a name for herself on Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, but last month she found herself in handcuffs after a brawl that went from bad to worse. Sunrise police were called when the 36-year-old first got into it with fellow reality star Big Lex backstage at the FLA Live. Body cam video shows Hernandez immediately cursing at officers, then tossing a phone at a man, telling her to calm down. Karen found herself in hot water, facing a quartet of charges that ranged from tiptoeing where she shouldn't because she was trespassing, to getting a bit too hands-on, legally known as battery. But if you thought the Puerto Rican princess was a spectacle, just wait till you feast your eyes on this next Karen. Back in January of 2023, Ohio's finest were summoned to deal with a dumb Karen who could give Godzilla a run for his money in the throwing a tantrum department. Surveillance footage, which could rival any Hollywood blockbuster, 
captured this she-devil in all her glory. There she was, unleashing a verbal tirade that would make a sailor blush, accompanied by a theatrical display of projectile objects aimed squarely at the poor, unsuspecting manager. But just when you think this drama queen has peaked, there's a plot twist. The cops show up, sirens blaring, ready to wrangle this hurricane in human form. But wouldn't you know it, the second those flashing lights hit her retinas, she does a 180. Suddenly, she's the picture of innocence, a damsel in distress who wouldn't hurt a fly. Talk about a masterclass in method acting. Okay. Oh, what have to do with him? We have to get rid of him. He cannot touch me like what that anymore. This, he cannot touch me anymore. He cannot touch what me anymore. What does that have to do with anyone? No, I had no one. I had no one. Please don't hit me anymore. Please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. <laughs> Please don't leave me alone. They stole my keys to my house. Oh, right here, man. Please don't leave me alone. He's gonna kill me, guys. Please don't leave me alone. Please don't leave me alone. <laughs> What's the address on 112? 112. 1313. 112. I have an apartment. I live there alone. I got beat on the way home. I don't need any help from you. I am upset. I am. I have a right to be. Someone. Put their hands on me. What I want there for you, what I want there for him, what I want there for him. No, it's not okay. It's not okay. Stop. No, nobody cares about me. I have no fault. Nobody knows who I am. Please leave me alone. Nobody cares. You don't care. You only care because I was going to beat the this. I don't want any help. I want to be left What? What's your name? Charlie. Karen's a walking, talking paradox, a human hurricane of contradictions. One minute she's begging the cops to not leave her alone, the next she's yelling at the cops and wants to be left alone. The manager, bless her soul, remained calm throughout the whole ordeal. I mean, this stupid Karen threw a cactus at her. And not just any cactus, but a cactus in a clay pot, which adds a whole new level of ouch to the situation. Here's the manager to explain what really went down. on the thing, I come downstairs, I just hear somebody yelling and screaming. Um, I guess she came in and told my other co-worker she went in the office because she was throwing stuff at her. She just threw one of these pots. It broke all back here. She just broke this. Okay. She was cussing her out. Did she one. hit her with anything? Yeah, she hit her. She hit my, my colleague with it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, she hit her with this. Yeah. Uh, you want to have her come down? Oh. They hurt me! Why don't you care about that? Why don't you care about that? Why do you only care about this? Stop looking at you know what you're looking at. I'm not doing anything Stop it. Turn around. Turn around. Because I'm a f***er and I'm a f***er. I'm not going to keep I'm not going to keep Stop resisting. Here we go. Exactly. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I want someone to so storming into a store and causing chaos like that? There's gotta be something majorly off with this lady. I mean, normal folks don't just flip out like that unless they've got some serious mental issues. My guess? She's just a grumpy soul who despises everyone and everything. Now, mix that lovely attitude with a cocktail of booze or controlled substances or both, and you've got yourself one heck of an explosive situation. What do you want me to do? Just lay oh, here and pretend like I care? She's already come past now. Oh, yeah, Bob. You can at least pull my out of the f***ing car. Won't have her. her. You can at least pull me up. Get me up. I'm literally asking for help, and I've been handcuffed. I have a house. Many, I have somewhere to go. How many times did I ask you what's going on? Nobody cares about me. Probably at least. These fucking sisters got me off. Uh, Nobody uh, cares about me. You don't care about me. You don't care about me. Stop. I don't want to go. Stop. Well, I want to stop. Right. stop. Stop. Just stop. I'm going to. I'm going home. I have no one to talk to. I have no one to talk to. Just stop. I tried talking to you. Just talk to me. Just oh, stop. while we're done talking. I don't have to do that. Just stop. Just stop. 
I'm not a car. psycho Get felon. I'm a regular girl. I don't know. Get in the car. Please get in the car. Your dead team is gonna hurt yeah. me. Get in the car. No one's hurting you. They're literally hurting me right now. Get up like an adult. I'm trying Get to talk to you and you're hitting me. No one hit you. Stop! You don't even want to talk to me. She doesn't want to talk to me. No one wants to talk to me. Hey, look over there. No, nobody cares about me. Well, if you weren't such a dumb Karen, you might actually have a few friends. But throwing a tantrum like a toddler and acting like a victim doesn't exactly scream lovable. Seriously, if I had your behavior, I'd be avoiding myself. It's almost comical to watch you spiral into utter patheticness, making me teeter on the edge of pity. But then you open your yap again, reminding me why you so richly deserve your utter solitude. Tell me what you need. I need help. I need to go home. Because you want to hurt me further. Go ahead. I don't care. Go ahead. I've been in a jail cell before. Stop. stop pushing me. She's already getting it. Stop pushing me. She's already getting it. So why do you have to be a f back, please? No. It hurts. You're not me. Someone's not choking you. Someone's not suffocating you. Someone's not hurting you. She didn't even offer to help me. He didn't even to drive me home. He just wanted to drive me home. I don't even know who you are. Left alone in the squad car, Karen went berserk, shouting and kicking the doors. When they finally dragged her to jail, she kept up her resistance. Despite telling the cops her name was Charlie, it turns out she's actually Rebecca Hoop, so Charlie must be her stage name. Anyway, her entitled and obnoxious behavior landed her a slew of charges, criminal damaging, endangering others, disorderly conduct, assaulting a police officer, and harassing an inmate. Seriously? Even behind bars she found someone to bother? I guess Karen's gonna Karen, no matter where she ends up. Up next, get ready to meet a 19-year-old high schooler, who just so happens to be a dumb Karen, getting busted by a sheriff's deputy for allegedly having THC vape cartridges. After a tip-off about some contraband at school, the deputy swoops in on her. But Karen insists that she was just doing a favor for some blonde girl with glasses, who handed her the goods in the bathroom right before the fifth period. But in my unsolicited opinion, Karen provided way too many details to make that goofy story believable, and judging by the deputy's raised eyebrow, he's not buying her Good Samaritan Act one bit. So, you're an adult, right? Yeah. I don't know... You're apparently new here. She's 19, she's like. Right. So you're an adult, right? Yeah. So here's the deal. Like, you go, if, I, I don't know exactly how this is going to go, but one of the cards on the table is you're going to jail today. Oh, wait, what? Right. Correct. Depending on what those are, there's a possibility that you may go to jail today. Right. So. Just because someone reported? You have illegal substances yeah, in your possession. but everyone at school does too. Everybody. Yes. Every single kid. Not every single okay. kid, but some do. Okay. And matter of right. fact, so you're not you wouldn't be the first kid I arrested this school year. So here's And I can promise you you're not gonna be the last. Why so why would be arrested? Okay, this is not how life goes. You don't get to choose when you bring illegal stuff no, to a high that. school. Okay. When you bring illegal stuff to a high school, what you want kinda goes out the window. I don't know, I know if you that, understand that. But so here, here's my other and, thing is. I think that what you have is the pen that these screw into. No, I don't. Right here. I don't. That's someone else's. Okay, it's, it's someone else's. Mine. All right. So I you don't have, have it. it. You, you don't have it no, on possession. No, they took it. Okay. Who took it? Is it someone who goes to school here? The person that literally probably named me here. Okay. So what I'm thinking is it, you have something. Theirs. You have something right here. You already so you have. You decided it was a good idea to take in possession all this stuff, knowing it's illegal. And that you're an adult. And that you're an adult. Yeah. Why? I didn't. I didn't know that someone was gonna tell on me that I was holding their stuff. Who was it? She was blonde with glasses. So, so no, it's a stranger now. No, it's not a stranger. Okay. I've known her. Right. So what's her name? Never really got her name. You never go, so it's a somebody it's a, you don't even know their name. She's and blonde, and she asked me for my name. I never actually. So she asked you for your name, then proceeded to give you felonious items, items that can result in a felony criminal charge, 
for you to hold and when were you going to meet up, when were you going to give it back to this person? Wait, in the bathroom later? What bathroom? Like, I don't know. So they they how, go into a different bathroom. So, so how were you going to give it back to them? What was the plan? So people just give people stuff and just say, I will find you later? Yeah. That's how it works. This is the first I'm hearing of this. Very rarely is it that much of a shadow. But today, she did ask me, hey, can you hold this shit? And then ask me my name. And then now I'm right here for the first time ever for this type of stuff. And I'm out to get arrested. You know it's illegal. If I give you a gun and I say you hold it for me, are you going to hold it? Okay, so if I give you fentanyl, are you going to hold it for me? No, it's just that. I didn't know. If I give you crack, are you going to hold it for me? Who do you live with? Grandma. She has cancer. So what are you doing? What are you. You're an adult. What are you doing? This is how you solve it? By offering to kids on campus? This is how you. Dude, kids, what do you think? What do you think's no, here in school? Oh my god, those are not mine! Okay, why are you holding s? For my friend! That's being depressed or that's no. being. No! I think being depressed and holding no. for your friend oh are two god. different things, Put my your friend. Stuff on the table for me. Yeah, I promise. Thank you. No! Oh my god, they're not mine. Okay, I was so just why are you. Them. Unfortunately, I just want you to understand. No, I understand. You don't person, have to dumb it down. If this for me. person doesn't, if we can't locate this person, this person doesn't come forth and identify it as theirs, you're going to be responsible for it. And you are no, I know I am. Okay. And that's why you're about to see how many of the vape cartridges Karen brought to school. Do you think that she's using her grandmother's cancer to get these cartridges and then trying to sell them to other students? That would be despicable, but it also might be plausible. Okay. And so, whatever you have on your person, because I think you do. I'm, I'm, I this, don't. Stop, 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 stop. I'm going to be arrested stop, anyway. So. Stop. I'm going to turn it over to law enforcement. So, whatever, oh, I don't have so whatever you have, you got to just give it to Mrs. Du We're going to step out. You're going to give it to Mrs. DuPont. No, and it's going to go I with this. I don't have anything. Okay. Then this, then this is what happens. Because it is an alter number for law enforcement. And law enforcement has a female officer come in in a secluded room, and they search you. So here's the deal. And this, that's, so that's if it goes that way. If it doesn't, then you're going to go to the jail, no, and they're going to search you. The they're going to search you at the jail. And if you bring something to the jail, it's a felony, an additional felony. So right now, if you have anything, we're going to. It is important that you just give it to us. We're trying to help you. This, this is us. This is done. If you have something on you, they will escort you to the jail. They will search you there. If you have something on you at the jail, they're getting searched at the jail. Charge. Every person that no, comes into the jail is getting searched. I know that. Okay. I know that. They do full searches. Mm -hmm. So if you have something, like it's I don't have anything. Okay. 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 Where is the t where is the where is the piercing located? Near my eye. Is it like? Can we not have any more awkward questions, please? I'm already well, going to jail for the first okay. time so in my whole I, I, entire life I feel like, right now. I feel like I feel like I feel like we're all being adults about this situation. Okay. <laughs> this is my first time. I'm okay. going to jail. I got you. What do you think I'm doing? Okay. Really? I understand. I understand that, but I'm. We're trying to have an adult conversation here. I understand. Again, you chose to get this piercing, so it's like. No, I know that. Can't be that much of a surprise when we're having this conversation. Well, I need to ensure that. I need to ensure that what's going on here is that it's actually what it is. Yeah, I understand okay. that. So I, I've been nothing but professional with you. No, Obviously, no, I'm frustrated that. by the situation because, like, I don't understand why you're not understanding no, what's going I on here. No, I understand that. Okay. And I, and I need to use the bathroom. You're not, yes. Yeah. I need yeah. to pee. No. You cannot use the restroom at all because you're not... The police. No, I know, I know that. So you deputy Allen from the deputy champion. Hold it, kiddo. I need enough to get up one of these. I'm pretty sure these are these are THC for sure. Mm -hmm. She said that they that they're THC. Yeah. So they probably are. Yeah, they are. I arrested someone before spring break for this same brand. Mm -hmm. This one, I don't know what it is, because this one isn't the same thing. Yeah. So if this other person gave you up, yeah. and that's what you're saying, besides blonde and glasses, what does this person look like? She's tan. 
Yeah. And what bathroom was this? Did this take place? What in? bathroom? And was what time? Do you not recall? I've heard some of my other friends say that some people love to tell on them on purpose, One. even if they also smoke as well. One, people, two. someone telling on somebody no, else. No, no, they have different. hate. You have no idea. But you said they that also you asked you to hold stuff. stuff. No, I didn't so, give anything. No, they asked you. You said that this person asked you to hold their stuff for them. Yeah. So it was downstairs to or between what classes? Um, fifth. So it was during fifth? Yeah. Or? And I heard someone nearby say, oh, watch out, there's a tattletale in here. In the middle of fifth period? No. Either during, during class? During or uh, before or after. Mm -hmm. During, before, after. That's, really like a, that's like an hour time frame. That doesn't really help me. I'm, we're so trying to help, we're trying to help you. Ask you. Before. Before in fifth the bathroom. period? Downstairs 200 before fifth grade. In the bathroom. In the bathroom. Okay. Do you remember what she was wearing? Not as much. Does she have any distinguishing features? Blonde, glasses, tan, glasses. Downstairs 200 building restroom before fifth period is the one that she She gave you the stuff in the bathroom or outside of the bathroom? Inside, if it was outside, I'm pretty sure one of the cameras. Was like in the in front of the bathroom or in the bathroom? The bathroom? Inside of the bathroom. Okay. She she gave her that stuff and asked her her name. Hey, what's your name? I said Natalia, and then I left. Okay. okay. Well, b break it down for me the whole situation. Stumped from the beginning. Well, I went to the restroom. Okay. Talking to some of my friends. Uh, and then she, um, she was like, hey, can you... She was in there, she came in after... Yeah, she was in there. She came in, and I'm pretty sure some of her friends were smoking with her. Did you see them? Yeah. Okay, so you, you, you're not pretty sure you, you saw them smoking. And, uh, one of her friends was like, oh, remember last time? And then, well, you know... And then she came. No, I don't know what that means. Like, I don't like it because uh, I can't arrest you. I, don't, I can't charge okay, you for you buying just, in the past. No, so if that's what you did or that's past, what no, happened in the past. No, I can't. Oh my god, you're just not waiting. Okay, so you're not explaining. So she came up to me after me talking to her friend, and then she's like, "Hey, can you hold my stuff?" And okay. then she, um, I was about to leave. She's like, "What's your name?" And then I say, "Natalia," and then I leave. What was her friend's name? How did she give it to you? Like in your hand? In a bag? In my hand. In your hand? Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. Yeah, have a seat. God bless. She's 19. She's 19? Yep. Yeah. There, I mean, there's enough for sure to, yeah. to get from, for this one, I don't know what it is, but these are legit. From California, based on uh, I made a 1015 before spring break, but she had these in there too. And these are just the, just the packaging for these neon ones, and it's uh, yeah, sativas. Yeah, yeah, this is like the real stuff. So maybe sorry for this one. Uh, um, yeah. So how did she hand it to you? She's like, hey, can you hold these? These are empty. And you said, sure. Yeah, they're empty. Are they, though? Yeah. You sure about that? I mean, some of these have THC oil in them. You just told me they're empty. I guess at one point they stopped working. Sure. How are you supposed to know? <laughs> I'm, you should know not to take things from strangers, yeah, especially that are drugged related. I think that's what you should know versus whether they're empty or not. I mean, common sense, unfortunately. Being kind, being kind by taking drugs or uh, use drug paraphernalia.
You're saying, oh, taking the carts from someone that wanted you to hold them for a bit, and then she if asks you, you your name. If you want to church them up, if you want to church it up, however you church want. Church it? I'm not. I'm right. not Christian. That's. It's a figure of speech. This is not like. What I'm saying is, you're taking it and you're sugarcoating it. It's not sugarcoating. Right. Right. So it's taking really drug effect. paraphernalia from somebody. You put pronouns on it. The That's what say... it is. It's drug paraphernalia. Okay. In the eyes of the law, there's no uh, possession of a cart. It's possession of a THC oil. No, possession of paraphernalia. That, right. So I speak in legal kids. terms. I don't care what the kids say. What? Because the kids are the reason why you're in this position. No, I know that. So let's not talk like kids. Let's I talk like adults. Because you're an adult. I nearly went right to jail now. in Miami because this girl said I had a gun at school. Oh. They checked my bag and everything. And I even showed them the text messages of her going to my house. Literally fighting me. And also, they found nothing. It was right. my birthday. Sure. I understand that is a situation that... Did you live in Miami? Because I thought you came from Georgia. Did you live in Miami? I came from Miami. Then I went to Georgia because my mom moved us. Oh. Yeah, I don't know what the situation was in Miami. I have nothing to do with that. Um, what I can tell you is we have a legal aid. You're going to have to watch out. It's not the kids. We're in the process of doing that. No, they're becoming drug addicts. I understand that. No, that's elementary why I'm school here. students too. I'm. That's why I'm here. Like, why elementary school students? Because of people no, like you no, no, who are engaging no. in allowing this stuff to continue instead of coming and notifying people about what's no, going on. excuse me. To be honest, that's not... If you're not part of the solution, you're part of the problem. I'm sorry to tell you that. Yeah, true, but also... What's that? Trolls on the line. Okay. They're going to bring them. I mean, we know what it is. Yeah. Why she got so many of them? Saying someone gave it to her. Her friend told her, no, a girl that asked her name asked her to hold them. All six of them? I knew her. Yeah. But you don't know her, you, know, you don't, don't even know her name. name. She of told course her, I didn't know her she, name. I she told you to hold the boxes, too. They look pretty. Do you like you want them? You don't want to help yourself out? Or do you want to go to jail today? Like, what, what do you want to do? I don't want to go to jail. So some mysterious female told you these boxes look pretty, do you want them, and gave you six vials of THC. That, that's the story. She literally asked me, in the restroom, Yes or no? Yes. Okay, what restroom? Down to, we got all that info, they're trying to pull I cameras right now. So when I go sit in my cameras and I pull all this, downstairs too. She's got, Before I'm going to see a female come out and then you come out. No, I came out first. I said, she asked me my name What's before I left. Like? What's she look like? Blonde, glasses, tan. What's she wearing? What color are they? Oh, blonde. <laughs> blonde. What's she wearing? Glasses. Wearing? Yeah. What normal teenagers, girls wear? Give me a color, shirt, pants. I think white. Any identifying factors. So all I'm looking for is a blonde female tan with glasses. Yeah. Don't say too. Tall, short. Fifth, before fifth period. Shortish. Shortish, like my height. So what happens when that this female doesn't exist? Then what? Are we gonna have another conversation? She asked her name in the restroom. And you didn't ask her name. Why would I? Like she, there's a random, per, there's a so random person I see every day. Yeah. So let me ask you. Ask me to hold some things. So this random and person. And then ask, finally ask me my name. I think it was a nice thing. I tell her my name and I leave the restroom. But you said right your here. friends knew her. Yeah. So this random. So who are your person, friends? Who are your friends that know her? That know her, because we can ask your friends who the girl is. Nah, they're not gonna tell. Okay. What's your so, friends' names? One is in my class. I don't talk to her, so I'm. So she's you got friend. friends that you don't talk to now. You got random people that you see every day, which but, kind but, of defeats the fact of random. But you said that there are twenty six hundred kids your here. Friends. You okay, didn't say so classmate. You said you had friends. I had the one friend her. in the restroom that knew them. Okay, what who was is the it? girl? Who was that friend? And I can go ask her, like Mia. who the girl's name is. Mia. What? Mia. 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 Mia, what does Mia look like? She doesn't smoke, but she's a. Uh, she has a. Uh, she's skinny, tan, glasses, like a. Uh, <laughs> yeah. 
No, hair? no, brown, brown blonde, and in a scruff. The girl I'm talking about is basically a little white girl. That you got any classes hair. with this girl? No. This random girl at hand, you still even got classes with her? Is she in the same grade as you? I think so. Yeah. You think so? All right, let me ask you something. If this random girl asks you to hold a gun, you gonna take it? No. Okay, so what is the difference? Because uh, the logic of children thinking they're doing You're not a child. Things. You're an adult. You're 19 years old. I'm you can't blame. By children. You can't blame the yeah. fact hey, so that me, you're a child. Ch that question. children. Is this Mia? Yeah. Okay. Mia Coffee. That's it's her friend. She's not the friend that did I understand. But you're the, she's okay. the friend that knows the other friend. I'm going to tell you another thing. You better hope I don't find out you're selling this stuff. No, I'm not selling. Yeah. I'm not making profit off that sh No. Alright, so I'm Deputy Sugar. No, I know what you're coming here for. Okay, do you have anything on you? No, they took it. Okay. And uh, I, my boyfriend bought it for me. Do you think it's smart that you hold on to it, though? No, I thought... I just didn't know if someone would tell on me. I didn't share it with anyone. That doesn't matter. You're still not supposed to be in possession matter. of it. That's what's not okay. I know it doesn't. You have nothing no, on nothing you at all. Else. Okay. Is you understand that no. if you go to the jail and they find yeah, anything yeah. on you, it's a felony for introduction. Plus, if you found anything, I'm pretty sure I'll be more trouble. Yeah. At this point, you've probably had ample amounts of chances. No, I to have. To say if you uh, have anything else on I you. I was just really stupidly scared and I get like that sometimes. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to have yeah. you face yeah, up yeah. against the wall. Alright, like you you said, you don't have anything on you, no. right? No? Go ahead, spread your feet. Further. You know what? I'm really very disappointed in myself right now. I've never been caught with that in this whole. I always be careful. Doesn't matter, you should have it regardless. How old are you? 19. You have two shirts on underneath? No, it's more like a girl all. That's a tank top. And then a the small shirt. No, I'm really sorry. I don't need to apologize to me. No, I'm saying sorry to them. You don't have to be sorry, we just gave you ample opportunity. No, I know that. Opportunity. You don't have to tell me that yeah, like a just, thousand times. I already destroyed the opportunity. You've done nothing but lie. No, no, just you. stop. <laughs> Alright, take a seat. Go ahead and sit back down. It's pretty revealing when she admits, I'm super disappointed with myself right now. I've never been busted with this at school before. So basically, she's had it on her at school before and is only upset about getting caught, not about actually doing it. Well, tough luck for this dumb dumb because this time, she got nabbed and hit with a felony possession charge. Then this stop. dude needs to chill. You just need stop. To chill. Stop. You, need you to go chill. for an accident. Hey. Hey. You know what, buddy? Ma am. Ma am. Enforce the law. Do we have the right to a recent opportunity? Coming right up, we have yet another dumb Karen who thinks she's in the Fast and Furious, zipping down the road like she's got Vin Diesel on her tail. She finally decides to pull over, but picks a spot so terrible it would make a GPS cry. The cop strolls up and kindly suggests she find a better parking lot for their little chat. Well, she must have misunderstood because she floors it like it's the Indy 500 and, bam, smacks into another car. When she finally halts her wild ride, she's all fired up and ready to argue with the officers like they're debating the best pizza topping. Buckle up, this one's a doozy.
stand for. Um, I'm a road runner in Matan. Um, making the traffic stop. Four, two, three, two. Go ahead. So can we go on? Step over here, please. Right. Step over here. I need to take pictures. I need to take statements. I didn't do it. No, no, then you. No, no. You don't tell me do what it. to do. You don't tell me what to do. You need to stand over here. Thank you. Four, two, three. So come negative on the forty-four, please. Uh, fifty-five. Still forty-four. It's a minor one. Yeah, it's a minor one. That's for sure. Okay, Information, please. Thank you. Yep. Four, two, and three. So come negative on the fifty-five. Do you have a current insurance? That's it. Well, you get a citation for that too. No. Yes, you do. It's expired. December 7th, 2023. Thank you. Yep. What happened? So, clock to 86 on mile plus five. Stops over here. I told, hey, take the next exit. But he's, she's falling down. So well, I don't. Hey, can you stop? Then, can you stop? Like I said, it's a citation. It's just no, down I right don't. here. It's hey. a citation. I told you. Relax. Yeah, I, I relax. Then this stop. dude needs to chill. You just need stop. to chill. Stop. You, you need to chill. Go hey. Hey, you know what, buddy? Ma'am, ma Enforce the law. That's I don't I need your f***ing hey. I'm doing. I don't need your f***ing lip. What's her name? I don't even know her What's your name? name? What's your name? Excuse me? I'm asking Amanda. your name. Amanda. Hey. Right here. Come here. Come here. Hey, do you smell that? Ma'am, come here. Get over here, please. Hey, get out of the car. No. Get out of the car. No. I'm going to tell you, no. look at, I, I don't know you, okay? I don't My care. name's Officer Ben I Como. I know you. My name's Officer Ben Como, and I'm telling you to get out of the car, okay? Stop. Stop. I'm Let me get out of the car, you psycho. Turn around. No. Turn around. Stop. 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 No. Stop. Stop. 427, send another. No, you psychos, get off of me. Hey. Get yeah. off of me. Get hey, off of me. Yeah, send them 33. Me, you 33. Crazy. Get, get off out of the car. Of hey, no. stop. You're going to get tased. You're going to get tased. Get out of the car. Do you listen to me? Does it, does it feel good? Does it feel good? Why are you cuffing me? Tell me. No, you have to tell me. Why are you cuffing there, me? Grab that arm. Bro. Why are you cuffing me? Ma'am, don't tell make me. this worse. Tell me. Why? Why are you cuffing me? Tell me. Stop. Tell me. Stop. 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 Tell me. I'm a Stop. Get out of the car. You're gonna oh, I swear to God, I wish you would. I swear Stop. to God, I wish you would. You psycho. Relax. What the f is wrong relax with relax no why are you coming? relax why are you you're under arrest me? why put your why? hands on your back why am i under arrest tell me Hold on. you have to tell me why am stop. i under arrest stop why am i under arrest stop why am i under arrest why am i under arrest why am i under arrest here grab that why am i under arrest tell me why am i under arrest tell me why am i under arrest tell me officers okay 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 we Here got we one ten fifty. why did you cuff me why am i under you're arrest you're not yeah, orders we're telling you you're lawful i haven't done anything for i in haven't baby. done anything stop yeah, are you joking Hey, hey, let's search jokes. her real quick. You guys are such jokes. Honestly, I hope hey. it makes you feel good. Yeah. Stop. I, I hope it makes you feel good. Yep, search me. I hope it makes you feel good. Yep, feel good, guys. You did your duty. Yep. <laughs> You're such Just a joke. The phone. You're such a joke. Give me my phone. Stop. You're such a f joke. Just get over here. You're get over here. Joke. What's her name Stop. again? Amanda. Amanda. Look at it. Joke. You guys are such jokes. We asked you a lawful order to get out of the car. 
and you cuff me and you press charges against you guys. Okay. Yeah. yeah, you're gonna see it. You're gonna see it. Okay. Yep, you're gonna see it. Yep, you're gonna see it. We told you to step out of the yep, vehicle. Yep, you're gonna see it. Nope, I did. I no, did, did everything that you guys asked no, you me didn't. to. Yes, he well, blocked. Recorded, he okay? blocked my fucking. Stop. 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 Dude, Stop. He blocked me from getting out of my car. Dude, I smell alcohol. Yeah. You smell it. You're a joke. Let's put it in the front, and then that way we can Drop search in front of your me. car. I don't give a f I oh, haven't yes. been drinking. Why well, don't you smell like alcohol? I don't smell like alcohol. Because I haven't been drinking. Yeah. <laughs> hey, so you guys are such jokes. Face forward. Are you wearing a now? Are you wearing a now you don't even know what to do. You're such a joke. Come on, try, 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 are you gonna give me my shoes back, or you're just gonna run and shoot Take a seat. Take a yeah. seat. Sure. Lean back. Can you uncuff me? Lean back. Can you uncuff me? No, you're under arrest. For what? For what? Stop. For what? Tell me lean what back. I'm under arrest lean back. for. Tell me lean what back. I'm under arrest for. Just lean back. No, tell me what I'm under arrest for, you. For obstruction. God, is he new or something? Jesus Christ, let's go, buddy. Yeah. yeah. I'm not worried at all. You guys don't got me. All right, so I'm gonna read you some, something important, okay? You have the right to you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him present while you'll be in question. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before any questioning, if you wish. You can decide at any time exercise these rights and not answer any questions or make any statements. Do you understand each of these rights I claim to you? I do, sir. Having these rights in mind, do you wish to talk to me now? I do, sir. All right. So it's evidently we can smell the odor of alcohol emitting from you. Breathalyze me. I'm not drunk. Okay. Breathalyze me. Give me a second. All right? No. I'm not going to give you a second. You didn't give me a second. You put cuffs I, on me. I give you a lot of time. Did you? I did. Before screaming in my face? Did you, sir? You, you yell at me first. And that makes you the cop? Yes. 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 You're a joke. Yes. You're a so joke. So now, we, we, we're, we're going to... The reason what I read your rights, do? we're going to read... We, we want to do some uh, field sobriety tests. Do you sure. want to do you want to do the field sure. sobriety test? Okay. Let's do it. I'm going to take the handcuffs off. Yeah. And you're lucky I'm not going to clock you in the face. Okay. That was my next question. Are you going to do something no, crazy? No, I'm not. Because I'm not a crazy person. But you're a... Okay. So you need to act accordingly, so, and I will do. So the I'm going to take the handcuffs off. Yeah. If you do something, then we're going to put them back oh, on. Okay. Is that how it works? Yeah, that's how it oh, works. Oh, good. Yeah, okay. you're an adult now. You know that, right? Yeah. All right. So we're going to do the SFSCs, the field sobriety test. Let's do it. Okay. I'm ready. Yeah, put the hat back on. Yeah, yeah, I probably have to scoot back a little bit more. Yeah. 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 Let me, excuse me, two milk ones. I'm going to scoot back a little bit. Can you tell the dispatch? Yeah, I've read Miranda Rights and uh, we're going to be doing SFSCs. Go ahead and step out of the vehicle, please. Go ahead and turn around, please. Can you move your hands a little bit so I can take your handcuffs no, off? I can't. All right, when I take this off, you're going to put it back in your head, okay? Your hand, your right hand. Yeah, one of What are you telling me? Yeah. I said back. Are you going to put it in your back or your head? Yeah. Or okay. Are you scared of me? I don't want to arrest you again. I don't want to arrest you again. I don't want to arrest you again. I don't want to, you yeah, I'm sure you don't. Don't want to put I'm hands sure on you, you again. That's yeah, why. I'm sure you don't. Loser.
Are you restraining me? What the? Are you taking doing? off. Take your hands off me. What are you doing? Stop. Stop. Take your hands Stop. off me. Stop. Take your hands off me. It's stuck in your me. jacket. It's stuck in your jacket. Then remove it. That's, That's what I'm trying to do. Then loser can't even do that. Jesus Christ. Thank God you got your hat on for this, huh? Mm. Can I need you to step over here in front of the unit, please? Can I get my shoes or like, are those? They're, they stay behind, I'm sorry. Go ahead and step over here, Are you though? Yes, no, yeah. really not. I'm, I'm sure actually not. not. I'm sure you're not. All right, I need you to put your heels and toes touching each other. Just like so. Hands to your side, please. Hands to your side, please. Just keep them like this. Yeah, they're here. Okay. Now you're going to follow my finger with your eyes and your eyes only. All right, you're not going to move your head, okay? Understood? Yes, sir. Thank you. We're going to do this again? It's not over. I'll tell you when it's over. Good. Okay. Are you going to follow it? I'm waiting on you. Please don't move your head, please. Just your eyes. I didn't move my head. I'll just do the test. How many okay. times are we going to okay. do this? He's giving you the opportunity to do the test. If okay, it's not, it's going to be a few, so. And he's going to do them on you the way he does them on everyone else. Well, okay? <laughs> if I get this loser doing my test, can you do it? Can you please do the test? I get this test. loser It's going to be the it? same. You do the test the same way. Just let, let A hundred times? Every time. They're standardized. Okay? So he's going to make several passes. Just follow the tip of his finger. Can you please put your heels and toes touching each other? Your heels and toes. Thank you. Thank you. We're almost finished. Yeah, let's do it again. We're almost finished. I'm ready for it. Let's go. All right, I'm gonna go vertical now, okay? Up and down, all right? All right, we're gonna do another one, all right? It's gonna be the walking turn, all right? So, before we start, you're gonna put your right foot in front of your left foot, like so. You're gonna put your hands to the side, okay? Can you do that, please? All right. So we're going to do here an imaginary line. You're not going to move from this position until I tell you so. You can go back. You can put your right foot in front of your left foot, heel the toe, hands to your side. All righty, you're not going to move from this position until I tell yeah, you so. Yeah, I got it, go. Okay. So now we're going to do an imaginary line here, all the way to that yeah, garage door. Yeah, or line that's right in front of you, yeah. Whatever um, works for you, okay? For all right, so we're going to take nine steps, heel the toe, you're going to keep your hands to your side. You're going to be counting out loud. And it's going to be something like this. One, I'm going to two, demonstrate. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, I'm going to demonstrate Can I first. Do it like that? I'm going to demonstrate first. Please do, I don't understand. Okay. What's your name? Amanda. Can he go faster? Because I might. Tonight. Like, I got places to go. No, I'm not. I don't. Okay, Just do two sets. And it'll be awesome. Yeah. Alright, so can you. I'm quicker officer. Maybe this guy. He looks more apt. We can do them the same way. Look. Look, right now you're trying our hands. All we can go on is what happened out there on the scene. Okay? So he's giving you the opportunity to perform these tests. Okay? He doesn't have to do that. We can go throw you in the cell for it. It's all good. 
He's giving you the opportunity, okay? Just listen to him. He's going to give you instructions. As yes, every, sir. Every officer would, okay? Yes, sir. The faster you let him get through him, the faster you get through the test, okay? Well, if he could go faster, so, that would be great. Just go ahead and get him to start position. Just listen to him, all right, can we put your right foot in front of your left foot? All right, so you take nine steps, heel to toe, hands to your side. You're going to be looking down, you're going to be counting out loud each step, okay? It's going to be something like this. One, two, three. I only took three steps, you're going to take nine steps. On your last step, you're going to take a series of small steps with your last foot you step with. And then you're going to take another nine steps. It's going to be one, two, three. I only took three steps, you need to take nine steps. I know I said a lot. No. Okay, you may begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, one more and we'll finish. It's gonna be a wall neck stand, okay? So you're gonna put your heels and toes touching each other, hands to your side. You can lift your foot, whatever you feel more comfortable off the ground. About nine, 90 inches from the ground, six inches, about that much. All right, off the ground, it's gonna be parallel to the ground. And it's gonna be something like this. I'm gonna demonstrate, okay? All right, it's gonna be one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi. So I tell you to stop. All right? Yes. Give me a second. Let me get my my timer. All right. Go ahead and put your heels and toes touching your side, and to your side. Whatever you feel more comfortable, you may begin. Give me cunning on now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How am I nine? Until I tell you to stop. Until I tell you to stop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. All right, that's fine. Thank you. Where are you going? Okay. Where are you going? I thought you said that was the last one. All right, I'm going to reach you something important right now. Give me a second. Another important thing that yes. you're going to say? It's very I'm important. I'm going to hand it over here. I'm going to hand it over here. Just yeah. take a little bit of time. So. Uh, it's up to you. I mean, we can handcuff her and then. Because I think it's going to be. Um, I think if you start saying, like, hey, you're under arrest for DWI, then it might be, like, lights on. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, that's what I think so. So if you feel better, like, handcuffing her, reading it, and then we'll take her in there after if she does the breath. If she doesn't, then we deal with that. Because we need a medical clearance to do it. We need a wrist here first, though. Yeah, so if you want to cuff her. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna make the food for Come over here. Alrighty, man. So I'm gonna reach you something important. Go ahead and turn around, please. Why? Well, to be honest, you're gonna be under arrest. Why? For DUI. Why? For DUI. What did I not pass? Go ahead and turn around, please. What did I not pass? Go ahead and turn around, please. Amanda, okay. just turn around. Just turn Why can he not tell me? Isn't that my law? Isn't that you're under arrest for DWI? Take a breathalyzer. All right, then I'm gonna read that first, first but I need okay. to make a few first. What did I not pass? Tell me. Why did you not tell me? You didn't pass the test. What did I not pass? So you sh you show signs of the okay, so you're making a decision to arrest for DWI. So let him read this, okay? Take a breathalyzer. Okay, yes. I'm not okay. drunk. So Take a breathalyzer now. That's what he's going to read you. That's what he's going to read you. Can I read this so we can do the breathalyzer? Yeah. Okay. Of course you can. Okay. You f***ing Read it. Listen to me. I'm about to tell you something important. You're under arrest for DUI. 
The New Mexico Implied Consent Act requires you to submit to a breath test to determine the alcohol content of your blood. After you take our test, you have the right to choose an additional independent test. If you choose to take an additional independent test, you have the right to do you have the right to a recent opportunity to arrange for a physician, a licensed nurse, or a laboratory technician or technologist who is employed by a hospital or physician of your own choice to perform an additional chemical test? The cost of the additional test will be paid by the law enforcement agency. Do you agree to take our test? Yes. All right, let's go this way. Let's go. I need my... You have to. Yeah, what am I going to do? Open it? Open you it. You're it's done? Of that time. Shut up. Do you have anything in your mouth, ma'am? Can you please open it? Do I? Yes, please. That's for the test. No. Can you please open it so I can just verify? Uh, Thank you. Thank you. It's not that hard. Can you start the death time? Give me your shirt. Yeah, I got it here. <laughs> yeah, double jack because he might not. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, ma'am. Oh, it's me first? Yes. Oh, here to your left, please. Go ahead and have a seat there. So we need to wait 20 minutes, okay? Do we? For what? For the breathalyzer. You have to wait 20 minutes to breathalyze me? Okay. All right, so we're going to wait 20 minutes, all right? I'll be here. All righty, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna put this one in there, okay? It's sealed and everything. You're gonna blow on this. You're gonna blow, and it's gonna be something like this. Like that, until I tell you stop. Oh, can you do it again? I don't understand. Okay, well, we'll see right now. No, I don't understand what to do. Can you do it again? Go ahead. I don't understand what to do. Can you tell me again? Can you please just blow on this until I tell you stop? Yeah, how do I blow? It's up to you. Imagine this if you don't do it correctly, it's going to get rid of Jesus, which is a common man. Keep going until I tell you stop. That's it, that's it. Thank you. We're going to do one more, okay? One more. Throw around the word refusal, like I didn't do what you asked. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Okay. Are you the wonder Yeah. Oh, are you? Funny. Guys, this is 2024. Like, this is what we're working with? Oh, that's what we're thinking is. I wish we can go faster too. It's every department in the entire country can use a dialogue No. Mm -mm. Done a breathalyzer before, didn't have to wait 20 minutes. That's because in the time frame they brought you and did everything, there was already a 20 minute deprivation. It's standardized across the entire United States. So that's. This machine is standardized the across, no, across. The test and the 20 minute deprivation, those are all standardized across the entire United States. Okay, this so machine is what I'm talking about right now, ma'am. The entire state, the entire country uses it, yes. Oh, really? Most advanced right now. Oh, okay. Well, it's about as slow as you two, so I'll take it. All right, one more time. There you go. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah, I mean, yeah, keep going. There you go. That's a good one. 
Guys, that's all I got. I don't know what to tell you. There you go. That was good. Thank you. This is what happened. It did show you over the limit. No, it didn't. That's impossible. Point 0.12 and point 0.10. That's impossible. That's the reading from the machine. That's impossible. So you underestimated your DUI. Okay. I, it showed me over the limit? Yes. Are you joking? It's about to print. I'm going to show you. I'll gladly show, show you. Me, please. But you're going to go in there. Don't make it difficult. I've had a beer. How can I be over the limit? Literally, I've had a beer. How can I be over the limit? That's Just one beer? Yes, one beer. Have you ate? Have you ate? Yes. You ate and everything? Yes, sir. I had one beer and I ate. What size? How what can I be over the what kind of size? What size of beer was it? It was a regular beer. What's a regular? There's no way I'm over the limit. What's a regular? I literally don't believe you because I'm in shock. What's a regular? How many ounces? I don't know, whatever it comes in. Whoa, look, I'm going to show you here. 0.12 and 0.10. Subject test, 0.12. Subject test, 0.10. Okay. Let's go. Imagine not being able to keep your emotions in check long enough to pass a field sobriety test. What a joke. Anyway, it was a close call, but they nabbed this incredibly rude and angry Karen. Thus, Karen got her karma, and she was charged with DWI, resisting arrest, evading or obstructing a police officer, careless driving, and speeding. Because I called you first and Man, I got beat off, so what you want to do? Stuff. On April 13th of 2024, the cops were called to a kerfuffle in which a very dumb Karen was busy plotting to get her boyfriend thrown in a slammer with some bogus claims. Seriously, has she never heard of evidence and probable cause? Probably not. Spoiler alert, things didn't turn out so great for this incredibly stupid Karen. Guys, what's going on again? saying all types of weird stuff out of her mouth. Oh, I can call them back and tell them that you pulled my hair and slapped me. You'll get arrested on the spot. Or oh, I can call them back and tell them that you just tried to rape me. They'll come back and arrest you on the spot. They won't even ask you any questions. I don't want nobody around me like that. If you, she gonna call y'all and tell y'all that I just tried to rape her and stuff like that, I don't even want her here. So, what happened? Okay, so, you said she got here last night. Is that what you're telling me? No, she was here last night. She left. She left. Well, she doesn't live here. Is she it? doesn't live here. I don't even live here. This is my niece's house. Mm -hmm. I'm only here because my niece is out of town. And I was paying her to stay here because mm -hmm. it's just an empty apartment right now. So. so, but she came here last night. She came here this morning. She left. She was gone. Oh, okay, what I'm saying is uh, prior to her leaving, where was she? Was she here or was she? Yeah, was prior she to her leaving, she was here last night. Okay, she came here last night, she yes. left, and came back this morning. Yeah, she just okay. got back this morning, like 6 something this morning. Mm -hmm. I was in that sleep. Okay, right, let me get that. From what I'm getting now, you just want her to leave? Is this what I'm getting? Yeah, because okay. if she going to say something like that, I don't know what this girl will end up pulling, what type of stuff she'll end up pulling. So. Is, is she still intoxicated? She was a little bit that Yeah, shit. that's why I was trying to tell you. She's she drunk, so like... Let me see if I can do something. Where she's at now? She's in, she's in the house. I've been out here yeah. waiting on you guys, so I've been out here like 15 <laughs> minutes at the moment, probably 20 minutes. I was on the phone. I don't even know what's what My wallet with my ID and all that, all that is mine. Are you going to wake up? You can go ahead before. All that, all that. Yep, it's all right here. Well, I don't have time for that. That's my house.
Okay, all right. What's your um, brother? So you, 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 your name is Nia, right? Nia, what? Yeah, Nia. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Uh, you can go and talk to her. She can and talk to Alright, ah, man. So here's the thing. Ma'am. I have been literally, I was asleep and they tell me to wake up out of my sleep to get out. Ma'am. So I just told. I called the police the first time once he tried to put his hands on me. Ma'am. Exactly. This this man just tried to put his hands on me and they didn't do shit. Ma'am. I called the police and they left the first time. He called them back the second time. Once I'm asleep, I'm not doing shit to this man i'm perfectly sleep i'm laying down sleep i literally just got woke up by the police telling me that i need to leave because he just called them okay man so the only of the police exactly wants to leave, okay? because i i literally just got woke man, up man, out of my sleep man, for man, a second man, time man, man. This is for conduct, a second okay? time after he just told me Man, after I just, after if you want I just to be quiet, you might end up going on. to jail for disorderly conduct, okay? I'm not, I'm not going to get, I'm okay, not going to, I'm not going to, I'm at my, 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 I'm home, I'm asleep, and I'm not, okay. I'm not going to get, I just talked to the, I'm not going to get in jail for nothing. I just talked to the owner of the house, she just went to leave, that's your staff and leave, I'm not going to get in jail for nothing, I'm not going to get in jail for nothing, I'm not going to get in jail for nothing, I'm not going to get in jail for nothing, I'm not going to get in jail for nothing, like I said, I've been here, I was sleep perfectly fine, and I got woke up by my sleep. Man, Bro, it does not matter. I give you five I minutes. I give you five minutes to I grab your stuff and leave, okay? I literally got woke up by my sleep to grab my and get dressed and leave. You know what's so crazy, man, because I'm trying to tell you. Tell you. She Why called, here the first she time called the police first. Put their hands on man. me and beat me. I want the you Stuff well, okay, leave, well, okay? I like to charges, so I, I want y'all to get that ready. Okay, go ahead and get ready. Well, I like to press charges, so I want y'all to get that ready. I like you can go and talk to her. I like to charges. I like to charges. I like to uh, go ahead and get that ready. Sure I bet she won't want to talk to Hello? Hello? Oh, yes. You said what? If I can do it? Okay, that's what we're trying to do right now. Yeah, so she's her. Okay. Don't say anything. You're not instigating anything. Don't say a word. Okay, I'm not her. Don't say a word. Don't say a word. He's a pedophile. I don't say a word. Let's talk about that, bitch. Ma'am, grab your stuff and leave. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about that. I bet it is. Grab my stuff and leave. I'm not leaving nowhere. It's not his house and I'm leaving nowhere. How about that? What's Get that? me out this motherfucker. I'm going to give her a couple minutes and then I, if she's, I'm going to give her a couple minutes. If she's not leaving, just give her a phone call. So I can ask her if she want her to be traced by, so I can do it to me. I don't even make no sense. Then you, then, it's so crazy. That's why I'm glad they sent you back out since you was here the first time. Because she talking about where you guys was the first time I put my hands on her. If I put my hands on you, why she didn't tell y'all that when y'all first came out here? That's the whole, re this is the whole reason why I called y'all back. Because she was saying, she was talking, she was talking like this. That's the whole reason why I called y'all back. I've been knowing you since you was 17. No, I haven't. I just met you last year in January. Ma'am, go ahead and grab your stuff and leave, okay? Ma'am, go ahead and grab your stuff and leave, okay? I'm trying to go to jail right now, okay? I don't give it's mine. How you gonna go to jail with me? I bought it. I bought it, so it's mine. So how you gonna jail? I bought it. Jeff for breaking my. Go ahead and grab your stuff and leave. As long as I'm on the property, you can't trespass me from nowhere. I'm on the side while you can't trust me from going that's nowhere. Ma'am, you, you're trying to find that's your way to jail. That's what you're trying to do right now, okay? Go ahead and grab your stuff and leave, man. You're not going to jail for jail to conduct, okay? Go ahead and grab your stuff and leave. I'm not doing shit. I could have been left. I left the premises so y'all could have been left. Ma'am, go ahead and grab your stuff and leave, okay? You're going to get your stuff? I left the premises. Y'all could have been left. Go ahead and grab your stuff. Or are we taking it with us? You're going to break my charger? Yeah, this mine. I paid for it. It's mine. It's mine. You I did. paid for it. You a 
Karen got herself into some serious mischief this time. She was busted for breaking and entering, causing over $11,000 worth of property damage, really? That's one expensive phone charger, stirring up a ruckus, and giving an officer a run for their money with her not-so-friendly resistance. But I still think that this Karen would be annihilated if she squared off with the last Karen. The last psycho was a heavyweight Karen, whereas the Karen that we just watched is at best a middleweight.